Hey girls, hope you had a fantastic weekend. As I said in our Zoom meeting on Friday, this is our first week of end of the year review. So this is end review, end year review one for June 8th. And these are the things that we are going to be, some of the things that we're gonna be reviewing this week. We are going to be reviewing multiplying and dividing by 10, writing numbers in standard word and expanded form, and comparing numbers. And we're going to be finding 1, 10, and 100,000 more and less than a given number. So first, let's take a look at some numbers. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to rewrite each number, filling in commas where appropriate. Our commas are our separators for the place values. We have our ones, we have our thousands, we have our millions. And the commas separate them, okay? So it's one, 10, 100, comma. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, comma. And then into millions. Now, where a misconception starts when we're putting our commas in is a lot of times friends will start counting from the beginning of the number where really you're supposed to count from the smallest, start counting from the smallest place value. So I'm going to rewrite this, each of these numbers, starting with the first one. So I'm just going to rewrite 98765. But I know that I'm going to start over here at my five and I'm going to count back. One, two, three. So I need a comma. It's not the first three numbers, then a comma. So I know I have my th group of three here, one, ten, hundred, comma, and then I only have a group of two here. So I have that number, 98,765. Now let's do the next one. And again, I'm going to write out those digits. 98,765. And again, I'm going to start from the back. The four is the smallest place value. Ones, tens, hundreds. Oh, I need a separator. I need that comma. Ones, tens, hundreds, I'm good. Okay. So now I have the number 987,654. Next one. Again, write those digits, 9876543. All right, starting from the back again. Ones, tens, hundreds, throw in a comma. Ones, tens, hundreds, throw in a comma. Whew, that's a big number. So now I have two commas. So that means I've gone into the millions. And remember, I read by section. So this is 9,876,543. Our numbers are only getting larger. 9876543, All right. Go ahead again. Ones, tens, hundreds, and a comma. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, and then a comma. So I only say the word million and I only say the word thousand one time in a number. 98 million, 765, 
1,432. And my last one. This is going to be a doozy. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ooh, all right. Ones, tens, hundreds. Oh, now I'm in the thousands. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Now I'm in the millions. Challenge. 1 million, 10 million, 100 million. I just hit a trillion. Now, we didn't do that in school, but I figured I'd throw that one in for fun. So again, reading my sections, I went to the trillions. So that means I have trillion, million, thousand. Or I'm sorry, not trillion, billion. So we have 9,876,543,210. Whew, that's a lot of billions. So now let's go ahead and move to our next slide. And this time, let me move me out of the way, thank you. Okay, I have my place value chart here. And we're gonna label the units and then we're going to insert the number 123,456. So I know I'm going to start with my smallest place value. And that is my ones. Then I have my tens. Then I have my hundreds. Now I'm not going to be able to, let's see, so then I have my thousands, my one thousands, gets a little bit cut off, that's okay. Then I have my ten thousands. Then I have my hundred thousands. And last, I have my millions. And now I'm going to insert the number in its appropriate place value. So again, this number is 123,456. So I have ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So I'm gonna put each digit in the appropriate place value. So there's my 123,456. And the first thing you're asked is to write the number in word form. Word form means you write it with words. How you read it is how you write it. So I've said this number a few times. Say it to yourself a few times. 123,454. 156. Those are the words I have to write. 123,456. 123,000, comma. Okay, where the comma is in my number, the comma is in my word. 
123,456. So that's how I would write it in word form. Word form means in words. Next is standard form. Well, standard form is just the number itself. What's the number? 123,456. It was given to you in standard form. The last thing I want you to take note of and to write is expanded form. And remember, in expanded form, every digit gets to shine. There are six digits in that number. So that means my expanded form is going to have six parts. This is where my place value chart helps me. I have 100,000 plus I have two ten thousands, which is 20, 120,000 plus in the 1,000s, I have three of them, 3,000. Keep going. Plus, I have four hundreds. Plus, I have five tens. Five times ten is 50. Plus, six. So I have 100,000 plus, plus 20,000 plus 3,000, plus 400, plus 50, plus 6. Going on to our last slide for this. Compare. Compare each using less than, greater than, or equal to. So the first thing I'm going to look at, because I'm in the thousands, is I'm going to look at the numbers before the comma. I have a 12, I have a 21. I don't have to go any further. 12 is less than 21. 12, is less than 21, so I'm putting in a less than sign. Next one. 312,345. I'm going to look at the 312. I'm going to look at the 31. 312 is greater than 31. So that means 312,345 is greater than 31,345. We will do more review on our Zoom call today of other things for this week. So hopefully I will see you on it. Have a great day. The next video will not be until Wednesday. Bye.